Good morning, folks. It is Thursday morning. It's too early to be up. I'm just making this little unpaid endorsement of the Life Journal that I talked about when we all were in class together. So in this, how do you use this thing? Well, right there it is, right at the beginning. It has the steps. Step one, choose between the classic and the express reading. So the way this works is, classic reading, see that? So you have the various passages for whatever day of the month that you're on. Or if you're a mama's boy like me, you can choose the express plan, which is a shorter subset of that. So the idea is, let's go back to the steps. When you read the passages, read with an open heart. Jesus would give you the words of encouragement, direction, and correction. Correction is the hard part for me. In that particular passage, ask him, what do you have for me today, Lord? And as you read that, he will speak to you through his word of whatever it is for you at that time in your life. Once you do that, then you go to the daily pages. What do daily pages look? Looks like that. Now this is the filled out part. And this is the, let's get a fresh page. That's a fresh page. So you're the author. It's, um, it's not what you're reading about somebody else. It's reading the word and what's there for you. So here's the pattern we talked about in class, SOAP. That is scripture, observation. What do you observe there? Application. How does this apply to me? Stay in your own circle. How does this apply to me? And prayer. How are you praying that the Holy Spirit helps you in this particular thing? So, as it says over here on this side, you write the date, whatever the title is for you, and whatever page number you're on. Um, for extra credit, I don't do this, but for extra credit in this forward section, you can have an outline portion. It takes me how to get there because I don't actually use it. So that when you have a topic, then you can write down whatever that topic is, sort of like your own table of contents. So you write down the various topics that you've had so that when you're thinking, yeah, like two weeks back, I remember what I'm going through right now, I got something from this. And if you're like me and you have a 40 watt memory, mm, you can't remember that. But after going through this for a few years, sometimes I actually do remember some of the principles. So you can go back and look at wherever that topic was. What was the scripture that applied? Just take another look-see at that to see how you get a reapplication of that. So when you do that, that's, that's a quiet time. I like it because it's structured, tells me what I'm supposed to read. And in a period of a year, you go through, well, pretty much the whole Bible, A to Z. So uh, yeah, that's the step four, turning to the table of contents. See, I call that extra credit. They just call it a step four. That's because my spiritual gift is rationalization. Give myself a little more credit if I do what I call extra credit. And then step five, conclude your daily devotional time by turning to the prayer list and then pray for what you've written. For that particular topic, you know, I pray about that I would get wisdom to remember what the principle is there. So what's it look like for me? Well, it depends on the day, but it all looks pretty much the same. You can see the outline's the same. Uh, soap, scripture, observation, application, and prayer. But over a period of time, as you get wisdom on things, it's cumulative. And in theory, at least, you should be better off as time goes on. Voila, there you go. Now, something else that I do uh, for our church sermons, I take notes in the section towards the back. I just decided, okay, on this page, I'm gonna start making notes in the sermon because we do have above average sermons. Believe me, I've been around for a while. 
And since they're above average, then I would take notes there so we can have discussions at home, that kind of thing. That is my commercial for Life Journal. You can get your own at www.lifejournal.cc in my broadcast voice. Have a good day.